Hey everyone, this is me, you, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, and challenging. Last week, I drew famous video game characters right on my PlayStation using a white sharpie. Thank you for your likes and comments. Today, I'm going to draw famous movie, TV show, and video game bird characters as Angry Birds. Comment to let me know if you can guess which bird character I'm drawing before I reveal each character as I go along, and let me know your favorite. This was actually suggested by my brother. He wanted me to do this, so here's a fun Friday challenge for you, bro, and for all you Funny Draw fans. Guess which famous bird I'm turning into an angry bird. You probably know this is Big Bird from Sesame Street. Like Angry Birds, I drew Big Bird's tail in the back so he'll look like he can belong in an Angry Bird game. I try to capture Big Bird's special features, like his round fluffy head, long beak, and those round little eyes. If Big Bird wasn't an Angry Birds game, what would his name be and what power would he have? It was fun to turn the usual happy Big Bird into an angry one. I wonder what can make Big Bird so angry? What do you think? Comment below to share. This is the second character. This is that certain Disney duck with a short fuse. I like to include his hat in this design. I kept his beak open to show his mouth for some of his iconic looks. Donald was among the characters I used to watch all the time when I was little. What about you guys? Do you have any favorite cartoon characters from when you were young? Comment below. Donald Duck in an Angry Birds game could be lots of fun. Those poor pigs will have a tough time. Now this one was a unique challenge. His beak is very big and iconic. Does he look familiar? He's from one of my favorite animated movies. Making Zazu into an angry bird was interesting. I had to preserve his iconic look by keeping his big beak, his eyebrows, and the feathers. I liked how in most of his looks, his eyelid is half closed. I drew it like that to show his character. When I was designing him, I didn't know at first which Angry Bird to reference for Zazu. What kind of general shape will he have? Then I thought to draw Zazu like the boomerang bird, Hal, with a large, long beak. Yeah. 
When I was coloring Zazu, I had to keep his bill colors as close to the original as possible with my markers. I would layer and mix colors to get the effect I wanted. It would have been much easier for me to color these characters digitally than with a traditional art medium like markers. Zazu's beak took me longer to color than the rest of his body. Here's the next one. This bird is from a game and anime. This character is from Pokemon. He's a legendary. Do you know his name? If you guessed Ho-Oh, you're right. I thought Ho-Oh would be fun to turn into an angry bird because he is very detailed to start with and I had to think about how to turn him into a simple angry bird design. For his tail, I wanted to keep it more closed, like when he's flying. I remember watching the very first episode of Pokemon and seeing this beautiful, mysterious bird flying in the sky. I'm glad how Ho-Oh turned out as an angry bird. The last one was really fun to draw. Drawing Toy Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's as an angry bird was a cool challenge. I kept her iconic eyes, head feathers, and cheeks. Since Toy Chica was a girl, I wanted to reference Angry Bird's Stella. I liked how Stella's beak shape was designed. When I designed Toy Chica's beak, I kept both characters' beak shapes in consideration. To make this drawing look more like Toy Chica's dimensional design, I layered lots of colors.
Are you a fan of Five Nights? Which character is your favorite? This one took the most time because of all the shading, but I'm glad how she turned out. If Toy Chica was an angry bird, what name and power would you like to give her? Well, that was a fun challenge. Please share in the comments below which one was your favorite. Thank you for supporting Art and My Fun and Draw channel with your likes, subscribes, and by telling others about My Fun and Draw videos. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.